Well, hello everybody, UXW Bill here again. After another forgotten piece of farm equipment. I got a helper. Look at that. Oh, and a baby too. Oh, well, they don't want to help. Oh, well. We'll do what we can. What we've got here is a good old International Harvester Farm All Tractor that akin to the uh, forgotten grain truck, which we really are coming back to someday, has been sitting here for a very, very long time. I imagine it's been sitting here for 30 years since it ran last. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and see if the engine will at least turn over. It's got a sickle mower attached to it. Now we'll need some spark plug wires. Somebody made off with the, with the very most of those. There's only one still hooked up. And we'll definitely need a battery. Now Key Keeper and I came out here a while ago and we actually shot a video about this tractor. And then we never did anything with it. Oh, there's some nasty gas in there. You can smell that. We'll have to get all that out of there somehow. But the idea is to take this little tractor and uh, put it back into service. You know, get it going again over this Memorial Day weekend. See if we can maybe get it out of here. It certainly should run been under this barn and it's got oil in it so I'd say the odds of it recovering are pretty good. I think this is about the worst thing I've ever done to my little truck is take it out here in this cow pasture but it seems to have survived. I haven't gotten stuck yet so anyway I've got to get a battery out of there and some tools and I've got to figure out how I'm going to get the battery that's in the tractor out of it because it's almost certainly no good. Well, look at that. Rather amazingly, and without any swearing at all, I got all of these linkages to come loose so I can hopefully slide that battery tray out of there. It's really not the best design I've ever seen. I would have preferred an outboard battery box, but I guess that made the tractor look more streamlined or something to do it that way. So now the only thing to do is to get those old terminals off of there, slide that battery out, and see if I can get the new one to go in there. There's that old dead battery. There's the new one I'm going to replace it with. And the newer battery. Let's get that back on the tractor and see if there's any hope at all. Alright, got the new battery in there. Some of these linkages hooked back up. But the really important thing is will it turn over? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just deader than a hammer. Well, I would tend to take that to mean that it's time to inspect our grounds. Probably got a ground or two on this tractor that really isn't so great like that one down there. Unfortunately, I didn't bring anything with me to try and clean them up, but maybe I can scrape them off with a screwdriver or something and see if it gets any life after I've done that. It looks like the connection between the starter and the battery is okay. Well, I imagine that's going to do it for today because I haven't got any tools with me here that'll take that bolt out of there and I've tried to get at it with these pliers which really aren't the best tool and it seems to be pretty well stuck so I think for right now I'm just gonna have to let the uh, penetrating oil there do its job in the meantime though this is a what kind of tractor is this it says it's a model FC on that little plate so I don't know too much about the uh, history of farm alls but uh, if we can get this out of here and get it going again it ought to make a nice little chore tractor for some purpose or another. I'm not really sure why it was parked back here. Looks like we've got some belts there. The motor looks to be intact, apart from the spark plug wires. Looks like I'll have to do a little repair to get the charging system hooked up again. But other than that, if I can just get the uh, if I can get the electrical circuit completed between the battery and the starter, it'd be my hope that it would turn over because the starter didn't even seem to try. Of course, I'm assuming the starter's good, and since the inspection cover's off of it, that may be a bad assumption. But that's it for right now. Lo and behold, I found a socket set at the 11th hour here, so I was able to convince that thing to come out of there, and I, amazingly enough, I didn't twist it off. I haven't twisted anything off yet, not even the little cotter keys that were holding all these control arms in place, which is surprising given how rusty they were. Anyway, that ground could definitely could definitely use some cleaning up. It's kind of grungy. So I'll just try that and see if it helps. I'm back in town now, and here are the battery leads off the old tractor. This one's the ground. This one's the positive. 
And as you can see, well actually this one, this is a positive ground tractor, so this would be the negative, but uh, you get the idea. Anyway, this one's going to the starter motor, and it has definitely seen some better days. And I didn't realize quite how nasty this contact on the ground was until I looked inside it. And this one's seen some better days too, so I think these could stand to be cleaned up a little bit at least. And I think the key, cop key keeper's got a, a brush up here that I can use. Now I'm back out here at the farm. I got these cables all cleaned up. And I think it'll work. Got the hardware cleaned up, but what do I hear? I think I hear something. Oh my goodness, the key keeper is trying to tear up his own truck by bringing it out here. Look out! There they go. As rusty as the back end of that truck is, the leaf springs are shot to crap. I don't know how it hasn't come apart back there yet. But at least they haven't gotten it stuck. Well, with any kind of luck and some cleaned up terminals, maybe this tractor will at least turn over now. I have to get up there and see. Alright, pull on this knob here. Push the clutch in. I don't think it's in gear. Shouldn't be, but better safe than sorry because there's a lot of nasty crap in here to crash into. Let's see what happens. I don't believe it. Uh, must be the switch on the starter's bad, or the starter motor itself isn't working because those electrical connections are bulletproof. So I guess the starter's going to have to come off and maybe have a rebuilding session. Well, there we are. Some people are grilling, but the key keeper, he's in here. And what does he have? He has the starter motor off of that International Harvester tractor, and he has cleaned that up. Awesome grease. It looks, looks brand new. He greased the starter drive. He's been fixing up the switch here. I think, yeah, it just looks absolutely brand new. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try uh, hooking it up to power and seeing if we can set fire to something in some entertaining way, because that's our mission around here. Have you got your little triangles in there? Is he hooking it up the right way? Yeah. Okay. Now the reason to use something like a jump starter for this is because um, less possibility of uh, sudden fault current. Ready? You can weld with a car battery after all. Hit it. Oh, it may really take off. No. Deader than a hammer. Oh, it's got On juice. The Well, we are getting nothing. We thought we had bad connections, but evidently it's just deader than a hammer. Well, this battery's actually dead. Yeah, it should still run it unloaded, though. Well, it's definitely not the switch we're having trouble with. Starter's no good. I tell you, 